hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome as well so in today's video we are going to be making a circle top with a triangular shape so if this is something that interests you please consider to watch this video to the very end subscribe to my youtube channel share this video and like this video so let's get right into the tutorial i have a yard and 22 inches of fabric with me but you can use two yards of fabric okay from two yards is okay to make this top so i'm going to fold this into two and the selvage is going to be facing each other now after folding it into two you are now going to fold it again in a triangular shape so this selvage part is going to be meeting up with the folded part you can see the folded part so this part will meet up with the folded part just like i did right now i hope you can see everything i did now you're going to mark your shoulder width my shoulder width is seven inches so i'm going to be marking it half of it is seven inches mine is uh 14 and half of it is seven so from there now you're going to you're going to mark your chest line from the shoulder line which is going to be seven inches but you can add extra half an inch to it so that it won't be too tight okay so so the next thing is to mark the quarter of my bust my bust is 35 and the quarter is about eight three quarter so just mark the quarter of your bust around there now extend half of your shoulder line which is seven inches you're also going to mark it okay you're going to mark it and then connect it to where you mark the shoulder line at the top so once that is done we are going to create our ham hole now before that you are going to take your shoulder slope of one inch okay you can see my shoulder slope and i'm using the neck width of four inches as my neck width so once that is done just connect your shoulder slope like so so after connecting the neck depth i'm using for the back is two inches and for the front i'll be using four inches for the front you can do lower than that if you want but four inches is just okay for me go ahead and connect it together so once you are done connecting together you have something like this okay so go ahead now and create your ham hole i'm going to divide what i have around my ham hole and then i went in by half an inch then i created the ham hole curve so you can see i just created the ham hole curve right here So the next thing I'm going to do now is to reduce my shoulder line by half an inch. Okay, because I'm not adding sleeve to this, so I reduce the shoulder line by half an inch. Okay, so the next thing is to take my sleeve length. So on this side, I'm going to be taking 22 inches. That side, which is going to be my side seam, I took 22 inches there. And at the midpoint, around where I have the folded part of my fabric, I'm going to be marking 32 inches from the shoulder line. Okay. 32 inches because we want the triangular shape around the bottom so once you've marked that go ahead and connect the mark from here to the 22 inches you marked on the other side okay go ahead and connect the marks together so once you are done you have something like this okay so i'll go ahead now and cut this out so after cutting this out i'm going to retake my uh bust cut of my bust plus one inch side seam allowance so once you do that go ahead and connect it to the m of the top just watch what i'm doing connect it this way so our top is ready just go ahead and cut it out cut the ham hole area cut the neckline i'm adding half an inch for joining allowance to the shoulder so i'm going to be cutting the back neckline first so you remove the back so that you can record the front neckline so i'm going to record the front neckline and this is what i have after cutting it so what i'm going to do now is to go and join the two shoulders together after joining the two shoulders together i'm going to use my bias to finish up the neckline okay finish up the front neckline the back neckline and also the ham hole area then once you are done you stitch it at the side after stitching at the side you also stitch the bottom of your top so right here my top is ready i've used my bias to stitch the armhole the neckline i've also stitched the sides 
and the um, M of my top as well. And this is what the top looks like. This is very, very easy to make. Okay. Under 10 minutes, you are done with this top. So, so this is the final look of my top. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to see you guys in my next tutorial. Please consider to subscribe, like this video and share this video. See you guys next time. Bye.